It's World AIDS Day, December 1st, 2012. Sixteen years since I got the news that recklessness demands some dues. The doctor told me on the phone, although he didn't want to. Results confirmed then by his tone before he gave them, I knew. A future lay in cocktail drugs, but then it seemed as though the rug was pulled from under me. But it was expected. I counted my blessings as others got sick and died, suspecting I probably carried it too inside. I remained reckless and untested. There seemed no cure, not hope, so I didn't want to know. But then there was hope from Big Pharma. My wait and see became good karma. The drugs took hold of my viral load and forced it down. My body freed. My strength of CD4 began to soar. The end was not so near. I'd die from heart disease or stroke, rather from that I feared before. I did not fear to share my state and fight the fears of others. The rumor fueled ignorance of mosquitoes and toilets and sneezing and coughing and touching and kissing and towels and tissues and living while dying. Saw all of us do. While I was fresh, most were kind, supportive, sympathetic ties that bind, but curiosity bred some temerity. Some asked, how did you get AIDS, HIV? <laughs> I'd reply, by being me. Sixteen years have passed since then. I've had a bypass and retired when corporate compassions howard and workforce reduction empowered coercive severance pay for signing all your rights away. I signed and tried to leave behind the sour taste left in my mind for an industry once loved. It's funny, the pills seem now a burden rather than the habit I once sought. I snooze the alarms to put them off. I dream of one day off. Foolish wishes still fuel me. So now there is hope. Please don't be a dope. Get yourself tested on a regular basis, for living in a pharma oasis is no substitute for living free from ills or pills.